by accident and desperation, <laughs> actually succeeded in hacking the native Google Analytics connector so it will give us Google Analytics 4 data. <laughs> Let me show you how I did it. So I've been trying to get Google Analytics data for quite some time. As you know, the Universal Analytics is going away. There is a new one now called GEA4 and the Power BI team has not updated the connector and it's like, oh my God, back to 2014, <laughs> what is this? But I actually managed to do it with the original connector. You can obviously have, there are third party solutions, there are paid solutions, cloud solutions, but the best way if you can do it with the connector, obviously. So this is how it works. You will have to jump through hoops, but it works. It works. So we're going to go here, get data more. Then we're going to do Google Analytics. And then this is mine. You need to grab the, you will only see one. Google Analytics, continue. And then there's like implementation 102. Grab two and click OK. And then it's going to show you the accounts that you have here you're going to see the GA4 account. I'm going to grab whatever, I don't care, browser and sessions. And I'm going to tell you why, I'll show you why I know that it's the GA4 account, because unfortunately I called by the same group also. But if you actually go here to advanced editor, it doesn't say account property and view because the GA4 does not have views, they just have a property. So the property is repeated twice. This, and I check with the numbers, is GA4. If you now try to refresh this in Power BI Desktop, not going to work, it's going to give you an error. But let me show you. I'm going to copy the code. So you're in Power BI, Power BI service, pick any workspace that you like, and data flow add new tables. Now you cannot use the Google Analytics connector that is in here because it's not the same as over there. I tried, it's not. But if you go in here and paste the query from Google Analytics, also from the desktop, I think that this is the difference, the implementation two. Maybe the implementation two is not on data flows. I haven't got that far to explore it because it works. You go next. Log in, you know, with your Google Analytics account, configure connection. We've already connected, so you should be fine. It's this organizational account, just log in with your Google account or your Google organizational account, whatever your account is. Save and close. And then just refresh it and it will refresh. It will refresh. It's just crazy. It will give you the data. You can schedule refresh it. You can do anything you want. Give it a name, save, refresh, and then you will see that it actually refreshes. Uh, here it is. So cool, so cool. And then you can schedule refresh it, and then you can do all the stuff that you normally do with Google Analytics. So I guess this means that they are working on it, but it's not really ready yet. But if you do this, it will be ready. So if you're in a hurry like I was, this works. So enjoy your Google Analytics data and I see you in the next video.